Hello everybody, welcome to the um, Season 2 Planes Cup replay cast of Necronome with his lizard men versus Fricope with his humans. You can see Fricope has gone for four guard, a tackle, a sneaky get and a block. It's pretty good actually, I think that's, uh, I prefer that to the, uh, the mighty blow builds. And uh, Necronome has gone with the third reroll rather than the bench. And he has foregone a block Saurus for a guard Crocs. And of course Fricope has the um, two bench and an apple. And brilliant coaching has happened and got Fricope an extra reroll. He'll need them to uh, do crazy things to try and help him. I don't know, have a chance versus lizards. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> oh, hello, Necronome. <laughs> Having your name, yeah, yeah, Necronomical Lizards and Fricopay's guys, that is a pretty good idea, isn't it? I've got Team Fantastic and Mr. Page had Mr. Page's Underworld, so, you know. <laughs> Elliot confused matters by calling his team Poglar. <laughs> but it does make sense to have uh, to have your coach name in the team name. Make things a bit easier. <laughs> Elliot forever toxic. But now of course uh Fricopay not being at the blitz with Mighty Blow, so that mighty blow choice may be coming back to bite him in the ass for a second, but no, I think much more guard is definitely better versus lizards, right? Versus lizards, that extra guard has got to be better than a random mighty blow. It's got to be. This tackler is getting exposed here. He's only got the ogre in front of him. And I'm pretty sure that the ogre's going to go down and the, uh, the tackler's going to get banged on. This, this uh, skin could have come out the other side, right? This skin could have gone here. Oh, okay, so he's not. He's, oh, this is a catcher. Okay, three dice in the catcher. Mm, I don't know. I really like. I really like blocking the. Uh, oh, wow, it was a dub skulls. I really like blocking him from the other way, and then could have blitzed the tackler. Crocs. <laughs> Crocs blitz. But um, I mean, this is more sensible. And if we know one thing about Necronome, it's that he's sensible. So, oh, will we get a big sneaky git foul here? Maybe. Like it makes sense as well to be sensible with the lizards, right? Like it's the humans that should be trying crazy stuff to uh, to get like to get extra equity at the end of the day. The lizards don't have to. The lizards don't have to do anything crazy, right? They just have to pretend to play a blood ball for seven turns, as Dimmy always says, and then score easily. So, but they're not getting hits, right? It's nice to mull her in and dominate the LOS, like generate blocks for yourself each turn. So this is a bit tentative. A bit tentative, I would say, from Necronome. Using a blitz rather than a block here to get this guy around. Well, it does leave him getting punched. Oh, will we see a big sneaky get foul here? Not that big. Three assists, though. I mean, could have made it four. And he gets the removal. Oh, but it, the the double is on the art on the injury roll, and he gets sent off. Sneaky gate, no effect. And the oh, the apple came in. The apple came in on the KO as well. Wild. So it's turn four. I was not sure about the apple there because. You know, you could take a Kaz 
and it could go over time. But obviously that guy could have never recovered from KO. So it's it's just not it's it's a tough it's a tough call honestly it's a tough call the uh, when to apple as lizards it really is it really is a tough call. Oof! Don't re-roll that. I mean, it's an amazing result, and I guess it was right to not to re-roll, right? Because there's a. It's still a cage anyway, right? This guy made it a cage anyway, so. I guess the problem is if there was some kind of crazy chain on. Which I guess there was, right? I guess the chain was on. Um, he could have uphilled here, or one deed here. I think he could have one deed, right? Yep, yeah, three, four, five. So he could have one deed the crocs to there, and then he could have uh, two deed the saurus and chained this guy on the ball. So maybe he should have rerolled that both down, but got the stun anyway to make that play not be able to happen. Oh my god, well, <laughs> right, I didn't know the result of this match, but yeah, this is, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe Necronome is regretting the, uh, <laughs> the appropriate, but it's tough though, it is tough, because right, like, you know, what if no, there's no mighty blow on the humans apart from the ogre, the sneaky gets being sent off, you know, the chance of him, the chance of him, uh, you know, making a Kaz, and also a Kaz that is a badly hurt, so that guarantees the Apple working. It's like, you know, there's a, there's a lot to be said for getting some value out of it, and getting, uh, you know, keeping that player on the pitch. Getting your score done. Tough though. I mean, I think I trust myself to get the score done without him, and then hope that I got the 3 out of 4 re return for the second half. And you know, keep my keep my apple fresh for uh, for overtime. And like overtime is a possibility. Like overtime is always in my mind in these formats. Maybe it shouldn't be. You know, like maybe if you've got lizards, you should just think you'll win in normal time. Um, and maybe Necronome did think he'd just win in normal time. But again, like you know, the coaches are really close, right? Like there's no nobody's going to be well. <laughs> It's unlikely that some... <laughs> I can't say nobody's going to be way better than somebody else anymore. But it's unlikely that somebody's going to be way, way better than somebody else. So chances are the uh, the game's going to be pretty pretty close in coach skill. Obviously, you know, pretty close in TV. Um, near identical in TV. And, and the, the points where it's not identical in TV is to... Uh, hey... <laughs> banter <laughs> when it's not identical in tv the, the difference is is like you know meant to be in favor of the worst team right and and i think they've tiered it okay the only thing wrong was underworld being tier two right that doesn't make any sense at all to make the best team tier two um but you know the best team was tier two for some reason um and still not that many people played it because i guess people weren't weren't that comfortable with underworld Even PTK, Tom, even PTK isn't that much better than, you know, like myself and Elliot, etc. And, you know, like, even the people who'd say, like, you know, he's arguably not even better, right? Like, that's the thing. He's arguably not even better. The thing with PTK is he's, like, recognised. It's, well, it, PTK is irrefutable, right, basically. I think he's the most irrefutable because he's, he's you know, like, people don't like art. <laughs> Right? And people don't like me. <laughs> and, you know, and then, like, you know, say Purple Goo doesn't play on Blood Bowl 2. And Pete W doesn't play on Blood Bowl 2. And, you know, the thing with PTK is everybody loves him. And he plays on all the formats and dominates on all the formats. So it's like other people, you know, like, say, Olivier Dulac, number one ranked in NAF, was pretty, pretty average on Blood Bowl 2, right? hasn't shown us anything on Blood Bowl 2 of note at all. Very pedestrian record on Blood Bowl 2. So, you know, I've won mage on Fumble and uh, competitions on Blood Bowl 3, but haven't done anything on Tabletop. And while I don't think that matters, some people do think it matters. And the thing with KFOG is, 
his he's done it on all the things right. Like Cruz Wright dominated Blood Bowl 2 completely. Hasn't played I don't know if he's played at all on Fumble, but certainly hasn't played much on Fumble if he's played on Fumble. And probably hasn't played much on tabletop. Certainly not international events. So, you know, like Cruz is obviously great. <laughs> you know, if somebody doesn't think Cruz is great at Blood Bowl, they're stupid. But the thing is, it's just just everybody who plays Blood Bowl knows knows Big Kev, don't they? And he's so lovely. He's like he's so lovely as well. Everyone loves Big Kev. Well, there you go. There's the that was the, I think that was the guy that was saved from getting KO'd. Got KO'd again anyway. Uh, but obviously this would be another player if it wasn't him. So you know Necronom is down a lot of players, but it's turn eight and he's gonna score. And you know was that player crucial? I don't know. Like, I, I just don't know. I feel like you can afford to go down a Saurus on offense. But, you know, fair enough, obviously. Like, like it's not a big criticism. It's totally understandable to have for that guy. I've appalled, like, a, a pretty irrelevant long beard before just because of KO. Because, like, you know, I'm a nine thick skull. You're, you're unlikely to lose too many players. So just use it on the first one for value. I've done that many times. So I completely understand wanting to get some value out of the uh, Apple. Um, instant value out of the Apple is, is very strong. It's just one of those situations that, you know, like it's the next turn and you're like, oh my God, how unlucky can you get? It's not really a, I definitely made the wrong decision, right? It's not results-based thinking. It's just like, it's just how you feel the turn after you're like, don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> uh, is there a, oh, we've got a, we've got a tight LOS and a catcher. And boy, howdy, do I hate a tight LOS. A vicious ref. <laughs> That's how you defend against a one-turn, guys. <laughs> wow. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Disgusting, isn't it? It's actually disgusting. A vicious rare. <laughs> is he gonna foul here? Yeah, this is this is spicy. Because he's already he's already capped at twelve and he's got a KO and he gets sent off for a stun. I mean this is the problem, right? Because you're not helping your drive here. Like, okay, it's it's nearly a free roll, but you're one nil down. So the best, like, see, now, this is the thing, right? For Fricape, he can only win in overtime, basically. And you capped at 12 if this, you know, for the match. Well, now you're capped at 12 for the match. <laughs> no, you were capped at 12 anyway. Now you're capped at 11 and you've got a kill. So you're already capped at 12 because this guy had been sent off. So I just thought that was a shit foul. And I understand because lizards are really, really good. And you really want to do something against them. But, um, I feel like you've just... Maybe it is that desperate, you know, maybe it is correct to try and high roll that hard. Because you, you can only win by winning overtime. It's, it's... Oh, well, there you go. Just do that instead. There we go. And, like, that Kaz, obviously, you couldn't apple because it's a minus one. You could try and apple it, but then, like, that apple's rubbish, right? 37.5 to one. So... Well, rolled a skull. Amazing. <laughs> well, Christopher B, as hilarious as that is. <laughs> yeah, three apples. Like, this is the thing, right? If you don't apple the KO and then this happens, and then, then you're only 37 and a half for it to do anything, and then when it fails, you feel like an idiot that you didn't apple the KO, right? Especially if you're not apping the KO would stop your scoring. So, like, it is a really, really hard question to answer the uh, apple. Oh, wow, we're just going to go and pick up the ball. That's pretty good, isn't it? Wait, couldn't this one have reached the ball? Is this one a go for the ball? Couldn't one have reached the ball there? Didn't, didn't he go laterally? No, he didn't. Okay, I thought that was that was really. It looked like he'd gone laterally, and I was like, "What the hell?" I thought one of the others was good, was going to come through and get it, but nobody could reach. Him. Maybe he could have tagged the thrower, I guess. Maybe tagging the thrower for his only sure hands. 
is not a bad not a bad shout. Because these can be chained off as well, right? So like one there and one there, so they can't chain off. And you're tagging the and you're tagging the throw was pretty good. Needs the power though, doesn't get it. Just start, just pick it up on a four plus and, and don't dodge. Yep, that's what he does. It's dangerous though, isn't it? It's still very dangerous. Skink's ready to roll some dice. It's like three one in nines to get a 2D blitz on the ball. I mean, the preferred way of doing it. So my preferred way of doing it Glorious. would be uh, no, I won't give in dodge this guy for one, I'm two, three, four, five, and six, I will seven defend. feet. I will and then defend. dodge him around to there, and dodge him around to there. Any more live games scheduled for today? And then like 3D him, and then hopefully try and score. Hello, Skrill dude. Yep, two live games tonight. Um, we have got a super exciting coach matchup in Strider 84 versus C Brawls, which is coming up very soon. And then we have uh, another very exciting match in Inarian versus, I want to say Diamond, but I'm not sure. No, it's, I don't think it is Diamond actually. But it's, it's, it's Inarian versus somebody. Gets the POW. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> the six plus catch. <laughs> That's it. And then he casts. <laughs> he casts himself. <laughs> he casts him. Wait. Oh my god. That's terrible. Okay. It's an Aryan versus Andri, there you go. An Aryan versus Andri. Great match later. Wow. And that was nearly a great turn, wasn't it? <laughs> that was nearly a great turn. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, <laughs> making four Kaz versus Lizards, including three of the big guys, makes them seem not quite as OP. <laughs> I think Frickape will probably be quite optimistic at this point. He does have to worry about the 5 plus dodge offs. That's the only thing. So the only thing that he's got to worry about now is the 5 plus dodge offs from the Saurus. So, 16 apples, yeah, yeah. It was really tough, honestly, between the 3 rerolls and the, and the reserve, like 2 rerolls and the reserve. Like, it's really tough because rerolls are so good now that I'd want rerolls. But obviously with the overtime format as well, I feel like 12 players is really good. So, you know, normal in the old rules, right, in the old rules... That dwarf team with four rerolls seems a bit rubbish. In the new rolls, I really quite like having four rerolls and twelve players and an apple. Like it's so like you know Underworld are such such a monster team. You know, fouling you for sixteen turns, um, <laughs> fourteen players at the start of the second half. Like you know, it's it's crazy. It's a it's a crazy time we live in. You know, overtime, horrendous fouling. And multiple reroll usage, you do really want everything. So, so you know, it's it's tough. It's really, two rerolls is so few when like a decent chunk of your games are going to be decided by overtime. E even lizards as well, I think. As, as strong as lizards are, uh, you know, I think it's easy for them to uh, end up in overtime still, just because the coach differential is is unlikely to be as strong as some games. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. This isn't going to make sense when people are just watching this in isolation, is it? But, you know. I just watched somebody not playing great. There you go. 
yeah, you, you just want as many rerolls as possible. Like it's, it's like yeah, it's the, it's not just this format, right? It's this rule set. It's this rule set. Rerolls are brilliant. Rerolls are just brilliant. Like when you can, you can have like as dwarves can have like crazy speculative sack plays, and you know anybody can have a crazy scoring play, right? Like or a crazy breakthrough play. Multiple rerolls is just so incredibly powerful. And I like it as well. It adds consistency, doesn't it? it? Adds consistency to good play, so that I like it for that. And I like that you've got a bit of craziness to go with as well. Doesn't get the extra hit, so this is yeah. We've got the tackle blitz here. Yeah, yeah. Tackle blitz through is nice, and then hope that the hope that the ogre comes as well. Oh, does follow? Interesting. Okay, there is a Saurus. There are two Saurus free. But I guess, okay, he's got the two players there. Oof. Is this a GFI? Yeah, it was. I've got. I've really got no idea about this pitch anymore. <laughs> but, you know, if this was Blood Bowl 2, I would have known that that skink couldn't have picked up the ball. And if this was Blood Bowl 2, I'd know that that guy, could, you know, would have been a GFI. But um, probably had to be done, right? But now we've got three Saurus to assault the cage. And two free skinks as well. So. Yep, tag the non blocker. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's it's tough. And you know, and that's not like a criticism of Blood Bowl 3, right? That is just a getting used to it kind of thing. But I mean, I think it's a bit of a criticism. I don't really like the grid or any of the pitches. <laughs> <laughs> Even though this is like the best one. <laughs> Even though this is like the best pitch. Um able to get the able to get the uh the chain away to create a little gap here. Ooh. PFI. They tag that guy. Oh man, huge 1D, like, you, uh, you know, I guess it was only a 3+, plus, right, but he needed the assist for this 2D. In incorrect there, by the way. Oh, whoa, he dodges, okay. I was gonna, so, ooh, so maybe the dodge is good, right, maybe the dodge is good rather than, like, I thought hit him. I, I thought move here and then hit him and then push him to there, but that's pretty good, right, because now he's got guard either side, because otherwise this guy was just gonna dodge, or this guy, you know, if he didn't power him, this guy was gonna dodge and 2D the ball. Or this guy could have dodged and three, four, five, six GFI hit the ball, or you know, got an assist and, and just dodged and hit. It depends whether he wanted the recovery or not. So, um, actually, this does cover against the Saurus dodges, which is, you know, like it's it's a totally valid strat at this point for the lizards, isn't it? You know, five plus to two D the ball is is pretty good actually when it wins you the game. <laughs> Finally gets a removal there. Oh, and then he appos it. Like, the only two removals on the human side have been their own send -off. Hasn't been any rowdiness from the lizards. They've been completely outbashed. Comprehensively outbashed. I think blocking before this score is a bit bad. Um, just a bit. Because I feel like... You don't want to use it for a reroll when you're about to go to overtime for the sake of maybe getting some damage. So I think just bang it in. Get to OT. Keep your three rerolls. If it was a ladder game, I would have... I would have resi I wouldn't have resisted the hits. If it's a ladder game, I would have hit for the SPP and not cared and, and then drawn. But with this, the fact it's going over time, just get it to overtime, I think, is the most important thing. Keep those rerolls for overtime. Rerolls like boldest. Oh, wow. So, all of a sudden, you're telling me there's a chance. And it's not even a bad chance here. I mean, it's not a good chance, <laughs> but it's a, it's a get some squares into your opponent's half with a screen chance.
Okay, we'll just bait. I didn't like the baiting there. I think we just, just screen it, right? Oh, finally, your removal. Oh, so I guess we're just going to hold the ball back and then can deliver to either. Yeah, okay. And one poor bastard is going to get mauled by tackle and the other's going to get mobbed. Doesn't get more, but it doesn't even use his reroll with the game on the line. With the game on the line, he doesn't reroll that. Okay, because he gets he gets into an extra hit. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, that's why he didn't reroll that. <laughs> oh, dear. And this is a 4-3-3 all through tackle. I wonder if it's best to do the uh, Saurus dodge, honestly. Last reroll gone. Oh my god, you don't see it. <sighs> this game is shit. No offence. <laughs> oh my god. Well, anyway, he dodged there and scores. It was a 3-3-2. Three, three, um, <laughs> A sensible celebration, yeah. So it was a three-three, and then uh, and then one GFI, right? And just rolled all of the dice. It had to re-roll. Had to use the re-roll on one of the GFIs or the rushes. Okay. Now, honestly, I wonder if the with him not having tackle, I wonder if the if the Saurus dodge was better, right? The Saurus dodge blitz. Maybe not, eh? It's because it's a three plus three plus. Is already interesting, isn't it? I wonder if I wonder if the Saurus Dodge was better. I I, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, at least it at least it told us it was a match. No, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I guess I could, somebody can clip that and then send it to them and say replays are bugged because they just don't show the last action. But anyway, congratulations, <laughs> congratulations, Necronome. <laughs> Scoring with that brilliant touchdown that we all saw. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it definitely is worth the feedback of it because it's really that's really annoying not not being able to see the winning move. Um, you know, hopefully it's something they can fix. But um, yeah, anyway, there you go. Congrats on Necronome. Commiserations, Frickapay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.